What if you could earn money as you wrote a book? And then when you finish the book, it was a highly rated perennial seller on Amazon.com and whatever else you have, the book for sale. And a Google search of your name brought you up as number one. And you could do all of this without a publisher. Give me less than eight minutes and I'll show you how. Hello, I am John Spires. I'm an importer by profession and before I had even a bachelor's degree, I was teaching at major colleges around the United States as an adjunct lecturer, something I did for fun on the side. Now, non-credit adjunct lecturing at colleges requires no degree or credentials. Your experience and knowledge recommend you. And there is the secret that only, say, what, 200,000 people in America know? And that is, you can get paid to teach and write your way to paid publication. It's really no secret. I'm just the first to tell you how. Now, don't be afraid. I nearly flunked public speaking in college. Uh, but I can lecture without notes for about eight hours in a seminar when the topic is something I know and love. You have a topic you know and love. And you can do this, too. Now, you already know about Amazon CreateSpace, print-on-demand publishing, which is not for you. Uh, and Seth Godin has fired his publishers and is doing everything on the net and how Forbes magazine creates its content on the web for free and then prints a best of copy for their magazine subscribers. Now that's all fine and good and you can have all that in less than an hour. Uh, but you still need people paying you for your work. That's where the teaching comes in. Now I'm going to give you eight steps to take beyond what everybody already knows to make your book happen. So number one, web presence. You'll need a brand, so just as I have www.johnspires.com, you're going to need www.yourname.com. Now, it's a business card to the world. Uh, it costs about 10 bucks a month, but you can earn that back through the affiliate fees because you own the website, so all the advertising revenue and referrals and all that comes back to you. I'll show you how that happens. Number two, you will learn to define the scope and sequence for your course and prepare a course for delivery, both face-to-face -face and online. You'll put down what you think others need to know about what you know. Now, I taught myself how to deliver a course, and as the Internet became wider spread, I taught myself how to deliver a course over the Internet. I used to teach teachers how to do this, and now I make it available to you as well. Three. From that ability to, uh, to deliver a course over the internet, you'll develop a course proposal and market to the schools who eagerly await new courses. This you can do by email or in some instances just directly on the web. I've got a mailing list of some 1,300 schools and continuing edu uh, education directors who hire teachers. Now here's the heart of the opportunity. In spite of the internet, the paper catalog of courses is still the cor only course promotion that matters. At less than $7 per registration, no advertising method beats a course catalog. If and when the internet can beat that, the hundreds of schools constantly testing ways of advertising cheaper on the net will find out, and then I will know too, and I'll show you how. But for now, your leverage is, is uh, the school catalogs to reach a paying audience. Every school puts them out. Here's a College of Marin. Here's Experimental College. Here is... Uh, what was this? Uh, uh, Riverside Community College. Here is Pima College. Here is North Seattle. Here's uh, uh, University of California, Santa Cruz. All of these schools have non-credit courses, all unaccredited instructors, all instructors working as independent contractors generally. Sometimes they want you to be an employee. That's up to you. But 1,300 schools like that. They all put out the catalog, and inside the catalog comes your course, and then people, they put out 100,000, 200,000, half a million of these catalogs. They go out into the community. You get these at your home. And then you look through there. People look through there, see the courses, sign up, and go to the school. And the schools generally split the revenue 50-50. 50% for the school, 50% for the instructor. What that also does, not only gets you students for your topic, it gets you buying public for your books when they come out. The process helps you develop the book. The process helps you uh, market the book as well. Now, a lot of people see the course, cannot or will not take the course, but they see your book as well, and that gets you advertising for the general public as well. Uh, more details on this, uh, as you'll see in the, in the uh, book and other places. 
So it does not matter how popular a course is. The only question is, how much do you want to work? The less popular your course, the more schools you'll have to have promoting you. The more popular, the less schools. It is up to you. You decide how much you want to work. You are self-employed. Yeah, you are in charge. Now, awaiting the results from marketing to the schools, you'll pull together the elements that make a respectable course. Your reading lists, the thesis notes, quizzes, YouTube videos, yours and others, and anything else people need to know to learn to do what you do. Uh, your website will be the home for all this content. That's number four. So let's go on to number five. You'll line up what technology best delivers your content from the ever-expanding universe of te uh, technological uh, capabilities available. Um, so here you're probably going to learn the uh, principle of less is more. It really doesn't take a lot to get the, the, uh, uh, a good course up and running. Uh, so number six, you will daily read Google news feeds for news on your topics and you'll comment on those with references. So this is where you gather more and more content plus your blog becomes the place to go on that topic. So you'll rarely leave comments on other people's blogs, but you're going to often refer to what other blogs are saying on your blog. So you become the center of the universe for the topic. Now expect to write for about an hour a day uh, to your audience, but in less than a year that means you're going to have 300 pages of manuscript to edit and work with. Number seven, as you start teaching, you become self-employed. So that means income, expenses, profit, taxes. Now how you handle this, uh, we cover that in um, the book called Parish of Publishers. I'll show you shortly. And number eight and finally, now you have enough information together to put together a book, but more important, you have your paying public there. So how to publish and distribute yourself for optimum payback, uh, we'll cover that. And most of your sales will be printed books, but about 8% will be Amazon or uh, .com's Kindle sales or Barnes & Noble ebook versions, whatever else. So it'll be a mix of real books plus uh, the e-versions. Okay, then when you've got that going and the book sales go, uh, 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 established, one good book leads to another. You'll just keep writing books. Now, in essence, you will stake out territory on the Internet with yourself as the expert. And then you'll leverage Google, Amazon, and whatever other social media to create content and generate ever-improving feedback content, feedback content. So you can read all about this for free on parishofpublisher.com. There's the Chiron right there with that address. And you can download the book for free. I don't care. Take it. Uh, you can buy the uh, book on Amazon or whatever you like. Uh, so you can be a self-employed, published, working, published, working, paid writer within a year and get paid while getting there, teaching your way to that. So uh, you can make this happen by doing two things in the next two minutes. One, forward this video to three friends. Discuss it with others. The more people talking about it with you, the better the ideas you go forward. Uh, you get good ideas from others, and you will have started at that point. So copy the URL address above, the YouTube address, put it in e email, send it to three friends, say, let's discuss this. That's number one. Number two, I want you to download that free PDF here on the website. It's free. Uh, you can read it, and then you can learn all about whatever it takes. Uh, now, if you do want to buy the book, in the e-versions available on Kindle, the e-versions available on Amazon, please be my guest. Now, some people want to go through the textbook and go through the course to make all this happen. So I do have a course uh, delivered over the internet at various schools. And you can uh, email me for uh, that or just Google it. It'll start showing up on Google as well, uh, Parish or Publisher. Um, and then occasionally I teach a live face-to-face -face, Sage on the Stage course at select colleges. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, uh, please email me and we'll find out if I'm at a college near you coming up there. So take at least some control over what is going on around you. Uh, get there first for your topic on the Internet. Uh, don't wait till somebody else starts teaching this, that somebody else stakes out the territory on the Internet. Uh, so, and don't wait for somebody else to become number one on the Google search for your name for your talk, topic. Now, lead with your strengths. Teach and write your way to paid publication. You'll do this by Parish Your Publisher. Thank you very much.